Hi guys, I'm Gasha. Welcome to my channel, to my bookland, and in today's coffee time, we have the horror booktube tag. It's coffee time. I am so happy that Jamie from Jamie Reads decided to tag me to do this one because you guys know I love horror and I want to get into reading more horror this year. So I am so happy that I got to do this tag as well. I'm going to leave the link to her channel down below so you can check her out. And I'm also going to leave the link to the original creator of the tag as well so you can give them both some love. And this is a fair warning. This video might contain a lot of Stephen King stuff. Hence the t-shirt today. This is a warning <laughs> because most of my life I have been involved in Stephen King's books, movies, you know. I've just been a Stephen King fan for such a long time that a lot of the horror that I have been enjoying and loving has been Stephen King. So um, it's going to be a little bit heavy maybe on Stephen King. So sorry, not sorry. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the questions. I remember my first horror movie was when I was like eight or nine years old and I don't think I was supposed to watch it and that was uh, Dracula from Coppola and uh, my cousin and I were doing like a sleepover thing and we decided to watch that movie <laughs> yeah so basically that changed my life and you know short after that movie I watched I think The Exorcist and Psycho so yeah this is what happened and when it comes to books um, I went straight from middle grade to Stephen King. I did not have a YA face, so that's why I'm reading so much YA also now, because I feel like I didn't have the experience. So I know that now I'm older and it's not the same, but I'm still enjoying the books. Um, so yeah, I went straight to Stephen King. I just remember one day, um, somebody gave me a Stephen King book and that changed my life. I was so addicted and so invested that I just couldn't stop reading. I think it was Pet Cemetery. I'm not 100% sure because it was a long time ago and I don't know but Pet Cemetery was definitely one of the first uh, paperbacks that I got from Stephen King so that might have been one of the first very first horror books that I read, like adult horror, um, and loved it. And I still have those paperbacks. Back then in Spain, they were releasing them in like this pretty like red color, um, and I loved those. Um, but now I am buying all of them, obviously in English, but back then I used to read Stephen King in Spanish. So I do not wanna do my channel exclusively horror because I do enjoy so many type of different books that you know it would be kind of limiting myself but I would love to incorporate more of my love for horror in this channel for sure so I am planning on doing more horror content and I am planning uh, some cool stuff also for fall and winter this year so stay tuned for that some things that I'm planning are so you guys can also participate and read with me so I hope that you are going to join me when I announce it but yeah so basically I would like to bring more horror into this channel. Honestly, I love everything. <laughs> Even when it comes to movies, is it a supernatural horror movie? I'm here for it. Is it a slasher? I'm here for it. Is it like a classic creature monster like vampires, werewolves, witches? I'm here for it. <laughs> like, I don't care. Is it true crime? I'm here as well. Like, I don't mind. I love all different aspects of horror. What I've always loved the most about Stephen King's books is that even the ones that touch the supernatural, he always, you know, creates a way of making it so believable that you could think it could happen to you any day. And that's one of the greatest things when the horror feels so real that it could happen to anybody anytime and that it could be the evil person could be anybody. I just love that. I would like to mention The Ruins by Scott Smith. I don't think too many people really love that book and I thought it was great and the movie is great. So, you know, for me, it's like 
uh, a great book and a great movie so if you have not read it and maybe if you heard bad things maybe you still want to give it a try because I did think that it was a very good book and then there's the graphic novel Through the Woods by Emily Carroll and I also think it's a graphic novel that uh, I have not heard many people mentioning but I think it is fantastic, I think it's a masterpiece and I absolutely love it so if you are into horror and graphic novels and if you haven't uh, picked up a copy yet you might want to check this one out So I know, I'm aware that in this tag probably a lot of people are going to say that Stephen King is overrated but honestly I don't think that's fair because I think that Stephen King has been working so hard and he's basically created the horror literature in a way like the modern horror literature and we owe him so much and he's been working hard that man has been putting out books like crazy through the years he's giving us so many different stories and things and characters his character development is insane the way he can put in one book like 100 characters and not blink an eye like he's he's just an amazing writer and I don't think anybody can doubt that there might be books you might enjoy more or less but I personally do not think he's overrated so after defending my boy <laughs> um, there is an author that I like but I think some of his books might not be always the best and that is Dean Kuntz I like him okay but there is this book I think it was The Bad Place and I thought it was very standard the characters were not relatable you kind of didn't like them but in the bad way you know and I don't know I think maybe some of his novels might not be as great as people you know praise him to be but that is my own subjective opinion obviously uh, but I always think that there is no overrated authors it's just mostly overhyped books specific books uh, but I don't think an author is just bad because one of his books was not the greatest you know it was just a bad book all right so the first one is actually a novella and that is Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker and this is a novella where the movie Hellraiser was based on fantastic Clive Barker is a master of horror I absolutely love him then as a classic another classic I could give you is Dracula um, Dracula from Stoker is one of those classics that I just think has aged really well that anybody can read it and personally I could read it anytime I I thoroughly enjoy the story and the book and then another one that I'm gonna recommend is The Shining by Stephen King also I would recommend you to read it because if you've only watched the movie there are things that are different and that actually Stephen King was not so happy about that they did in the movie so I would recommend you to check the book so that you can see what he's talking about you know and see how you find the original material so from Stephen King I'm gonna recommend you The Mist because it's not too um, long and it is kind of like a post-apocalyptic story which is very trendy right now um, so it might be a little bit easier for you to read um, and then I'm gonna recommend you Coraline by Neil Gaiman uh, because I think it's a nice creepy story also for beginners one that I really hated and it's not particularly horror, but that was Miss Peregrine School for Peculiar Children. I freaking love those books. I love them. And the movie, I was hoping it was going to be great because it was directed by Tim Burton. I was like, this is going to be great. A book that I love and a director that I love together. This is going to be fantastic. Oh boy, was I wrong. I remember this vividly because I was in England. I was in Birmingham for the uh, Star Trek uh, destination convention and we went to the cinema to watch Miss Peregrine and I was so excited and I kid you not I started to get more and more and more pissed throughout the movie that my boyfriend started to get scared <laughs> I was in such a bad mood instantly and yeah I didn't like it and once I loved Hellraiser amazing love those movies and um, then there are good and not so good Stephen King adaptations I absolutely loved Carrie and uh, the original Pet Cemetery. 
let's not talk about that reboot because no thanks i'll pass um yeah so one of some of his movies were really good like the both it versions amazing love both of them if you know of any really great horror book to movie adaptations let me know down below because i would like to check them out this is a really good question because i think this is also one of the reasons why in the past I have not read so much horror, only Stephen King. It's because I mostly just went for the things that I knew. Or if you go to the bookstore, most of the horror section, it's just Stephen King. <laughs> it's the way it is. And, you know, I always went and grabbed his books. And I didn't read as many books as I read now as a booktuber. Um, so I would read, like, I don't know, maybe 30 books all year long. And now it's like 100. So um, it's a difference. And now... Thanks to BookTube and to Twitter, I'm discovering so many different authors and titles that I had not seen that sound totally interesting, totally down my alley. And I'm super excited now for, you know, the future of the channel and more horror readings and exploring more of the horror genre and sharing my opinions with you guys. So yeah, thanks to BookTube, actually, I'm getting to know so many different authors and books, not just in horror, but like in general. So I'm super glad that I decided to join the community. My last horror purchase has been Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And I got this beautiful box and I got it because I have never read these. I don't think we got these ones in Spain when I was a kid because I don't even remember seeing like a translation of these ones. And um, the movie is coming out in August and I love Guillermo del Toro. The trailer looks fantastic. I'm gonna go watch that movie. So my plan is to get to the books before I watch the movie. I have a specific Amazon wishlist for horror books, so I'm putting there a lot of books lately, uh, watching a lot of booktube as well, but what is, you know, you can call priority or what I'm trying to do and I started to do this year is to buy all of Stephen King's books uh, in hardcover in English. Because like I said, when I started reading Stephen King, I was in Spain, so I was reading his books in Spanish and most of the ones that I have are just paperbacks. And then I just, uh, when I came to Germany, I did buy more books from Stephen King, but they're all like totally random paperbacks from different publishers. So now my aim is to have a consistent collection of Stephen King's books. So I just want to have, you know, the, the plan is to have all of his books in hardcover. I'm not saying I need the first edition because I'm just too poor for that, let's be honest. I just need a nice hardcover edition of all of his books. That's all I'm asking. Some of them I'm, I'm getting or most of them I'm getting them actually secondhand in a very good condition just because his books are so pricey. Even, you know, uh, secondhand, some of them are not that cheap. So. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to build my own Stephen King kind of library collection and all of the books in hardcover just because it looks a little bit more, you know, like uh, the same when you buy paperbacks and they come from totally different publishers. The sizes and the, and the proportions are very, very different. And if you have uh, hardbacks, even if they are different um, publication companies, they tend to look a little bit more consistent in a way. So that's basically the plan the master plan now comes a time when i get to tag some of you guys but honestly i don't know how many of you guys that watch my videos actually are really into horror or you know could answer all of these questions so if you're watching this and you're interested i'm gonna leave the questions down below so you can also do the tag and if you do Please come back here and leave me a link to your video so I can check it out as well. And also, if you have any kind of horror recommendations for me, leave everything down below. I'm always glad of horror recommendations that might may that be books or movies or graphic novels. Just let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate the support. Please remember as well to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss 
any more coffee times with me and if you're also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you want to connect there with me as well, the links to those social media channels are down below in the description as well. And I hope to see you all in the next coffee time. Bye!